In this video, we're going to learn how to get up and running with Strapi using Docker. If you want to learn more, you can watch my other videos on learning Strapi in 12 minutes. If you don't have Docker or don't know how to use it, you can get up and running with Docker in around 5 minutes using one of my videos on learning Docker for Windows, Ubuntu or Mac OS. Also, Strapi needs to run on top of a database and by default, it's configured to use MongoDB. However, for this video, we're going to use MariahDB. This is simply because it's the database I use personally. Let's get started. I've uploaded my Docker Compose file at this public GitHub repository. You can get a copy of it by downloading it as a zip or cloning it through Git. For this video, we're going to clone it using Git. To do so, I'll create a new folder, name it appropriately, and open a terminal at that location. Then, I'm going to type git clone and paste in the repository address. Once I hit enter, it's going to clone the repository into that directory. Before moving on, make sure to go into this folder and open the Docker Compose file in your editor of choice. Then you want to substitute this directory with a directory on your host machine. This must be shared with Docker. Make sure to check Docker preferences, especially on Windows. Now let's open a terminal window in this directory and create the database and application containers using docker compose up hyphen D. If you have Kitematic installed, you can open it now and check on the logs from both our database and application container. This will give us an indication of when Strapi is ready to go. When Strapi is ready, the logs will print out the location of the admin panel. If you use the port number in my Docker Compose file, you'll want to visit localhost colon 8080 forward slash admin. On your first visit, you'll need to create your administrator account. Now we're inside Strapi's admin panel. From here, you can configure and manage your API fairly easily. And you'll only need to dig deeper into configuration files if you need something extra. That's all for getting up and running with Strapi using Docker. If you want to learn more, you can watch my other videos on learning Strapi in 12 minutes.